Now we making moves. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy M of M Sensei HD. We back with some more of the quarry. Yo, this game is wild. I'm loving it so much, and I'm I can't wait to keep playing it with you guys. If you like what we do here, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and share it with your friends and sub to the channel. It's your boy Emma M Sensei HD. Let's go. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. Vamoose this caboose. How are you so <laughs> dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. Faking it is making it. But Tell it twice. No, I don't believe you that. You should try it sometime. <laughs> you never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Ooh. Um, Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? <laughs> Rip. It's actually really sweet. Oh, so you like Jacob? Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. No, I don't think he does. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but. That's us. You and Nick could be different. How so? How do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email. Stalker? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really going to miss you, Abby. She's lying. <laughs> Listen, did you hear that in her voice? She didn't mean oh, it. hold up. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Why? Come on, scenic route. One last victory lap around the camp. Sus. Back to the lodge. We're going back to the lodge, honey. Nice try. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Uh, everyone's waiting for us. Never thinks you're a party Nick pooper. Nick isn't going to leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> Shit, Abby! <gasps> Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, Emma, it's still live. That does not look good. Did I hit it? I do. Uh, we, that squirrel had to go. It was either. <laughs> Emma, bruh. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> Emma, I can't. Really, Emma? Abby, it's suffering. Emma, really? Like, oh no, Kate? <laughs> Ayo, you gruesome, dog. It's a squirrel kill it return to the cart um you know what it we did kind of bruh i'm sorry mr squirrel like look if you got family out there tell alvin i'm tell alvin girl close your eyes bruh sheesh Peter, don't don't cancel me. <laughs> like, what? Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So. Oh fuck me, bro. Disney. <laughs> oh idiot. Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. What is patchy? Balls are patchy. Yeah. What? No. Yeah, you run that back, Jacob. This is why. It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go and. Uh, ew. Ew. Yeah, juice from Mr. H? Really? I don't want no juice from Mr. H. Look, you, they look like they killed a squirrel. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. <laughs> Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Bears can be a problem. Why didn't you break in? 
Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? <laughs> You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. Facts. Um, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Big facts. Thank you. Well, this is why they're meant for each other. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Who? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Bruh, oh. there's no reception. Podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Hella sus, protective, mind your own business. Is it about me? <laughs> really? Um, let's not. I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. Sheesh. You listen to it. Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually Fam, the place. that voice does not fit you. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Yes. Who? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Yeah, run that by me. You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Obviously uh, not. If I did, would I be asking them ask? <laughs> Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Yeah, run me, run it by me. It's just this campfire story for the kids. Hey. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. Okay. She haunts the woods looking for a lost baby boy. <laughs> okay. There are like reports of whispers or whatever. And then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Wait, Some wait, wait. people say mm. that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. Wait, what? Well, really how, how does that Anyways, work? Haga Haggit's Quarry. Give me that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Defensive, better than yours. You should have seen the kids. Supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Bro, are Those you butts in gear? Are your eyes open, bro? Like, are you good? You know what? Uh, if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, "Of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H." Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags. Right, cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. I wasn't scared okay. though. Enough with all the butts. Uh, and. What's this about the ghost stories? Age of HSQ. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Why is everybody no. so sad? <sighs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Br bruh. You people are hella Give me stuff. a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. Yo. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> With your eyes half closed. I just need some tunes <laughs> for the ride, man. All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Brian, yeah, I know, but I was just... Okay. Let me to the van. Okay. okay. Jeez. All right, so we we not getting along out here. Like, <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be friends and fam and stuff. Like, this that's not so, that's not the uh, vibe. Chris, I, I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, Chris, really? Uh, uh, First oh, name basis? I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing with, with the. 
Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. All oh, right, yeah. go okay. for it. Go for it. Oh, uh, sorry. Yo, oh. sus f, dog. Keep the kids here. Take them out one by one, type. <laughs> like, listen to the podcast. Eavesdrop. Pretty sure we're gonna want to listen to. Cause kids are kids. You only do so much for adults. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a-okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Adios. Really? Random Spanish out of nowhere? Okay, can we back off from the door? Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. Yeah, you should have just let me kick it with the phone. With you. And wh what, what are you scared of, bro? Can you tell me? You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. Y you know, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam my family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. <sighs> Snooze. <Dang it. laughs> I'm not even going to pretend like I care. Concern, is everything okay? This is important to me. Uh, Yeah, my fa my man's face is looking hella mad, though. <laughs> like, are you good? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. You only knew. <laughs> really? Yeah, I want to know now. Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Facts. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean, shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. Okay, bet. They am with it. Let's go. So, uh, what what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. Oh, thanks, but guy. Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Okay. I, I didn't realize that. Oh, Remember I'm scaring the kids. Scaring kids away from sleepaway <laughs> camp. It's kind of bad for business. Facts, so big facts. Maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Okay, got you, bro apologetic i didn't realize yeah, yeah yeah it's cool sorry i didn't realize it was such a big deal gotta understand the repercussions of your actions buster it's a big part <laughs> did, of being a counselor Believe did you mean that when you said it yeah <laughs> just stick to kumbaya next time okay huda what what's that you guys don't do kumbaya anymore <laughs> really good grief i'm outgrowing my own cliches wait what Guy, can you just give me the keys? Seriously, Chris, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I really. I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Okay, I'm with it. You want to give me the keys now? Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. <laughs> you didn't mean that when you said it. <laughs> just give me a minute. You did not mean that. Like, they're in the <laughs> good goddamn, are they? My man's cut is semi clean, not so much. Oh, we nosy today, Can bro. You say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? 
actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Yeah, I missed them. Look at my face. Like, I mean it. <laughs> I locked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Picked up the phone. Right where I left it. Uh -huh. Let's get out of That took you way too long, bro. Is he power walking? <laughs> Yo, my man, he got the strats, dog. Like, he knows how to move it. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to see that walk ever again. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Okay, bet. Let's get it. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it Jeez. in. You sure did turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Facts. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Wait, what? Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, <laughs> Her I'm mouth was hella wide on that one. Hell no, no. Thing. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's gotta be. Come on, Jacob. Mm. Start her up. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. He didn't mean that when he said it. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Take it, really? Come on, right, dude, come on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm good. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> My man, Jacob. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? My man is mad. Yo, comp. Yo, you want to talk about okay. it, Mr. H? Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Yo, you good, bro? Ah! Okay, he just hulk it. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be on that type of energy. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, let's go. Oh, so you got to push the directional keypad and O at the same time. Hey, Brian. Got it. Come here for a sec. He just randomly throws me keys and then, wait, what? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. Bet. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Got it. Okay. <laughs> he didn't mean I'll that. Be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Complaint uncertainty. Seriously? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. I mean, we, we're down a phone. Nobody has service. You're setting us up for um, prime real estate right now. <laughs> like, God dang. So, what was that about? He uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um, Let's are get it. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well... We should go inside, like he said. We could Thanks. go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. Curious, insistent. We follow Chris's instructions. No, yeah. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. 
Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not my guy anymore. My guy. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for Wait, us. Wait, what? No? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Wait, what? P A R T. Oh. Oh, no. party. Fuck yes, I'm in. Nick, you're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. <laughs> my man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah. Okay. M. What do you say? Mm. Them lips, yeah, though. Man. What them lips do? I mean, uh, Mr. yeah, she's in. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he was just trying to freak us out, you know, like um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Facts. M is like the brightest person in the bunch. We got to keep her alive. Supportive. He was just concerned for us. He did seem freaked out. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on. One last night. Yeah, dude, he won't buzz even kill. know. I promised. Uh, no, no, no. no d dude, dude. It's all good. All right? We get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Oh, he's daddy. Ooh. Someone's got it. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? Facts. Let's go. I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Okay, so he's going to last till the morning. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Yo, Jacob is the first to go. <laughs> Yo, somebody got me in the sights though? Stop playing. I'm telling you, Jacob is the first to go, bro. Sheesh. What the? Wait, what the? What is happening right now? Like, hunt and see. Ooh. 